What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Supreme Tech. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to put transitions in between your video cuts in Shotcut Video Editor. And we're starting right now. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Smash that like button if this video helps you out. And turn on them post notifications so you're notified every time we come out with a brand new video. And let's get right into this shotcut tutorial for putting transitions in your videos. Alright, so once you open up Shotcut, I'm assuming that you guys already have Shotcut downloaded. If you don't know how to do that, be looking back on the channel. I'm going to make a video on how to do that soon. But I'm assuming that you already have it installed and everything. So it's going to take you to this screen here. What you want to do is type in a project name. I already have a project ready, so I'm going to open that up. And I already have my videos and pictures that I'm going to want to edit in my playlist already. If you don't know how to do that, check in the channel in the playlist under Shotcut Playlist or Video and Picture Editing. It's going to show you exactly how to do it. But we're right here, and we have our video down here in track one. Okay, now this is just some video game footage that I got from Marvel Contest of Champions. I'm just editing this, so don't mind about the video that I'm editing if you're not a gamer or whatever. This is just another channel that I got, and I'm just showing you through this one. But this all relates to Shotcut. So moving on, now I'm assuming that you know when you're working on a, a clip, right? Like this one here, um, make sure you click on the clip and then you come and drag the cursor wherever you're going to want to cut it. You're going to click S to cut it or you can click these scissors right here. It's going to do the same thing. And once you cut it, say I don't want this part, I'm going to right click on it remove it or do any of these other um, settings that you want to do to it but what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this one because I don't want that part and then say we got this part here we're gonna make sure we're clicked on whatever clip that we're working on we're gonna click S to cut it say I want to click S to cut it here again then I'm gonna remove this and this is where I'm going to want to do my transition in between these two right here, right? Now, there's two different ways to do transitions. Well, really three different ways. One is going to be the simplest way how to do it is you're going to come up here to the corner. And when this little finger icon is over this circle that's flashing, you're going to hold down and move over to the right. And it's going to bring a little shadow part to the end of the clip. Now the time, the numbers is going to be how long the transition is going to be. So say you can do 11 or you can come all the way up to 30 or however long you want to do. But the longer it is, it's going to make the shadowing or the transition be that much longer. So what I usually do if it's just a quick transition is I do anywhere between, you know, 0 0.05 and 1.0. So this one we're just going to do 1.0. And now that you got this side done, you're going to have to do this side, right? So you come right here, you wait till it's blinking, and you're going to drag it over. And whatever you do on this side, I recommend doing the same length on this side so they're both set at one now I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna play it over let me lower this real quick okay I'm gonna just click the space bar and you see how it goes Sing, dark if you have signed up for light. the beta test and you don't that's what you guys want I'm gonna show you again and that's just a simple if you fade to have black signed up for the beta test and, you and that's how you do it you can do it any at any split that you have in the video so say we split it right here 
You can do the same thing here. And it's going to be the same type of transition every time, the fade to black. I'm going to show you right here. But if you come that and look at it, one. it's not. So you can just play around with it however you want. Um, up here in the magnifying glass, you can make it bigger or smaller. So if you're working on it and it's too little and you can't see as good, you can click it bigger. And it's just a little more room to work with here. Next, I'm going to show you the second way how to do it. Okay, guys, for this next one, I'm going to show you the second way to do a transition. And let's just make our cuts. Let's say we want to cut here. And then we want to cut to all the way over here. Okay. Now I just delete everything in the middle. And this is where we want our transition, right here. Now what you do, you can hold on this clip that's to the right. And you can just hover over the second clip to the left and just overlap it a little bit. And the longer you overlap it, the longer the transition's going to take. You see the timer on there, the numbers. Same as when you're dragging the shadows on the corner like I just showed you. But this one, we just do about one, right? And then you let go. And you're going to see this box here. Now this is the transition, this box here. So let's just play over. Just to get it. So and it's going to dissolve. All this right. one's you not click on it. black. This Bip. one dissolves one picture to the next. Bip. So make See how that does it? All Let me right. show you one more time. When it goes over, it's going from this picture to this picture. So let's see. So make see how it's just like a nice slow dissolve? Now you can also make it longer by holding on it here and moving it like that. So let's see how Disney that looks. Plus and why you should invest you a little bit of money Disney that it plus. costs to get so it. So see how it's a much slower dissolve? Or I mean the shorter you have this box, the shorter it takes and the longer, the longer it takes. So those are the two ways how to do transitions. There's another way. You can Google or YouTube free green screen transitions. And I'm not going to show you that here. But be looking in the uh, videos on the channel. Because I'm going to show you how to add green screens also. If I make that video before I put this one out. I'll put a link in the description below. But I think that about does it for showing you guys how to do um, transitions in Shotcut Video Editor. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. I hope this video helped you out. I just want to show you guys the two really quick and simple ways to do this. So like I said, if it helped you out, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Also, real quick, if you guys don't have a VPN, be sure to check out the link in the description. It's going to give you a crazy deal to IP Vanish. It's one of the best VPNs out there. And it's just a great program. So check that out. You guys want to stay protected while you're online. Think that about does it, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.